how am I gonna memorize all this? The exam's in two hours! Mmm, gotta love brain food. Maybe you should have set down a placemat? Huh? Oh no, it's Lana's phone! She'd kill me if she saw this mess. She's coming! Have you seen my phone, Adam? What? Why don't you watch where you eat? Just look at this thing! Gross. I feel really bad, Lana. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. Be right back, okay? Did you know noodles can be art? Instead of using wet, sticky ones, make your own. Squeeze out candy clay into a syringe. Doesn't look like noodles, does it? Just you wait. Take a clear plastic phone case and squeeze out the clay in this pattern. Kinda looks like ramen noodles, right? The more you squeeze, the more real it looks. Add accents like little cracked eggs. Aw, look at that tiny piece of bacon. Hey! Sorry I missed your call! Whoa, check it out! Are those the noodles I spilled? Get your own noodles, Adam. Who knew I was good at painting? Feeling artsy today, Adam? This sandpaper makes awesome shapes. Thanks for waiting for me, Adam. <sighs> I'm so happy class is out. Hey! Looks like Vicky shops at the same store as you, Lana. And I thought this color was unique! Bummer. Hmm. I'll make you feel like one of a kind again. Let me grab my sandpaper. You ready? Let's go! A sheet of sandpaper and a stencil is all you need. With a crayon, color in the exposed sandpaper. Lay the t-shirt flat. And put the sandpaper face down on it. Next, place down wax paper for ironing. After a couple minutes, lift the pieces up. I bet no one has your shirt now, Lana. Your creative mind saved the day again, Adam. What item should we jazz up next? Where is she? My hands are getting restless here. Nope. Don't know how to juggle. If she's not here in five minutes, I'm leaving. Hey! Over here, Amy! Sophia! Nothing like a bestie reunion. <laughs> Don't make any sudden movements. That thing almost ripped my ear off! Looks like Amy's shirt took the brunt of it. Yikes. I wish I could help you there, Amy. Hey, you like fun accessories, right? Take my bandana! It's cute, but what do I do with it? Little scarves are great for turning unsightly holes into super trendy accents. After pulling the bandana through the rip, wrap it around your fingers. And pull the other side through the loop. It makes a bow, see? That shirt looks even cuter than it did before! Now let's move on to more important things. Like spilling about your hot date last night. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny. No! My makeup bag will definitely fit in here. Um, isn't this thing supposed to have a bottom? Guess this backpack is out of the running. But I really need my hands free today. Okay. I have the best idea ever. Turn your favorite purses into backpacks. Simply put the strap over your neck, pull your arms through, and toss it back. So cute! I kind of like this color better anyway. 
almost forgot the most important thing! Oops. Hey Lana, wait! Can you pop these in the wash for me? Laundry day is never fun. Especially when you get stuck washing all your roommate's clothes, too. Ooh, watch out for that bleach, girl! Oh no, the bleach is about to drip on the pile of clothes! Ooh, and we have contact! That bleach is going to ruin that shirt. See? Oh no, Lily's shirt! She's going to kill me! Maybe she won't notice? Oh, I can picture her face now. Lana! I am never speaking to you again! How could you be so stupid?! What's wrong with you?! Nope, I simply can't tell her what happened. Unless I make it look like I did it on purpose. This leaf is about to save my butt. Take a dark colored shirt like this one and put some thick paper or cardboard inside it. Take a pretty leaf like this one and lay it across the top. Next, pour some bleach into a small spray bottle like this one. Don't worry about filling it all the way to the top. Now spray the bleach on top of the leaf from a few inches above. In just a few minutes, you'll see the bleach change the color of the shirt. Pretty cool, right? Oh wow! Where did you learn to do this, Lana? I absolutely love it! You're the greatest friend ever! Man, that was a day. I better put this jacket away. But where? Gah! Come on. Well, it looks like this thing's staying out here. A Coke! And it's cold, too. The stupid tab's in the way. There. Wait a second! This is exactly what I need! Need more space in your closet? Hook one of these onto your hanger. You'll use half the space now. And your stuff will stay nice and organized. I'm the man. Yes! It's finally time for movie night at Kevin's house! Yikes. Looks like Justin already blew through his bowl of candy. Time for a refill! Ugh. Climbing over people during a movie is always so awkward. And then before you know it, you're back to doing the awkward side shuffle again. Hey, watch the new sneakers, Justin! Okay, back to the robots taking over the city. Uh-oh. Looks like we're out again. Ugh, why does this keep happening? I've gotta stop eating so fast! Looks like Justin's not the only person in need of a refill. Hold on, buddy. Just let Sophia get it. She's on the end. Aw, oh, man. Why am I getting stuck with that? Actually, this gets me thinking. Hold tight. I'll be right back. Have an empty bottle like this one? After you cut it up into three parts, just like this, you can transform it into something new. With scissors, cut two longer pieces from the bottom up, stopping at the middle. Once you've done that, slide them into one another like this. Next, bring out a tall, round vase like this one here. Stand it upright and put in the paper pieces you just constructed. Now pour in your favorite candy and let it fall into the different sections. Fill each section with different kinds of your favorite candies. Oh, and remember the lid you cut off? Pop it right on top for easy dispensing. Okay, boys. The candy man has delivered. Pretty impressive, right? Now, instead of getting up when you need a refill, you can just dispense some out without ever leaving your seat. Be sure the lid's on tight and pour to your heart's content. Hey there. Don't forget to share with your friends, Justin! Time for lunch already, is it? Man, I've gotta clean up all this Tupperware that's piling up in this sink. I wish these things were dishwasher safe so I could just pop them in there and be done with it. Alright, time to put this sucker back in the cabinet. Yikes, that sure is a mess in there. Yeah, there we go! Now, I'll just wait until my lunch is ready. What was that? Hey, what's going on? Plastic avalanche! 
Well, that's what you get for mindlessly stuffing all your containers in there. I wonder if there's a better way to store this stuff. And I think I have a brilliant solution. Have a metal slinky lying around? Then why not use it as a Tupperware organizer? Simply hot glue it to a hard surface like this Lazy Susan. Now you can stand up your plastic lids in it without worrying about them toppling over all the time. Pretty nifty, right? Man, I wish I would've thought of this sooner.